I don't understand quite why GM did this, but when they installed the master reservoir for the brakes, they decided to use it for the clutch as well. And it seems the Corvette and the GTO does not do that. It just seems to be the Camaro. And it carries over into the sixth generation from what I understand as well. So I'm going to remedy that. So I got this from JDP Motorsports and from what I understand uh, this is basically the same thing that's on the GTO which you can probably get for about half the price if you shop around for it. Um, this comes with the hose and a plug. Should be pretty simple to install. There's other videos out there online that show this. But I just got to figure out where I want to put it. So if you've um, been a viewer of my channel and seen some of my other videos, um, you'll remember why I did not put the windshield washer bottle back here. I mentioned that I would be putting in a separate master cylinder for the clutch. So that Rotafab reservoir right there is for the intercooler. They make one look similar for the windshield washer, except it has a different cap. And I actually put my windshield washer bottle there and actually has a tank that's remote. So as you can see, there's some pretty good room there. It's supposed to attach to the front of the reservoir with the bracket that was supplied. And that black hose right there is actually for, uh, goes down to the clutch master cylinder and that's where it actually hooks into so let's figure out where we're gonna put it you gonna help me huh you gonna help that's my dog Bentley so I wasn't sure that I wanted to use this aluminum bracket it just I don't know I was hoping I could mount it someplace just using the supplied uh, bolts without the bracket, maybe on the on the shock tower fender well kind of area. But as I held it up there, and I'll show you in a minute, it kind of tilts it like this. And I'd really rather have it level for obvious reasons. Um, so it seems like it's pretty good plastic. Uh, this end piece here, that's just a cap that pulls off. It'll just pull off and expose a barb for the hose. And uh, it's got a max fill, a minimum fill, and it says F A G. And uh, that doesn't mean what it says. I guess that's just maybe the manufacturer. I think they make bearings too. I'm not I'm not totally sure about that, but anyway, let me show you how this would look. So I was hoping to kind of mount it in here, like on this shock tower. Um, just doesn't seem to look very good. Doesn't want to fit very well. Um, I've seen some people try to mount it over here, but then you have the strut brace in the way. And I really think they had the right idea when they had the bracket. There's a screw here. Oop. This is really hard to do one-handed. So it's gonna go about there. Points a hose in the right direction. And I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it on there like that. Here's a quick little tool tip for you guys. Um, I guess when I was quite a bit younger, I went to the store and I bought that thinking it was one of these no it's not this is a Phillips this is a Prince Reed and if you look you can see the angle is more swept back on the Prince Reed 
Does it usually work? Yeah. But sometimes you'll fit it into a screw and it just doesn't feel right. It wants to climb out. Take a look at it. If it says PR, it's probably a Prince Reed. So that little black screw there is where that aluminum bracket is going to go. That screw right there. Oh yeah, that's nice. So the screw has a shoulder that fits perfectly in the hole of that aluminum bracket. Oh yeah, that's nice. Makes the cap easy to get to. Cap is level and there's a lot of room for the hose. So now that that's on, this is that little cap I told you about. Just keeps it clean. So they provided this length of hose and this cap here. I'm not sure how, how much I like that, but for now, until I get ready to actually bleed the brakes, um, I'm going to go ahead and use this. This should be, I believe, uh, EPDM rubber because fuel line rubber does not survive very well in brake fluid. Um, so I believe this is EPDM as well as the hose. The hose does not say that it's EPDM. It says value flex. So in other words, cheap junk. Um, well, I don't know, maybe not. At least it doesn't say made in China. That hose there goes all the way back to the master cylinder. You follow it, there's a clamp. Follow the hose, and there's another clamp. So, I guess I'm to assume that this hose is longer, and that I should be using this hose. Yeah, for sure, that hose is uh, most definitely longer. And uh, we're gonna have to use that in order to reach the reservoir. So we're gonna have to empty the brake reservoir and get some towels down. Because if you haven't heard a million times already, brake fluid uh, absolutely ruins paint. I'm gonna make sure that's clean before you take the cap off. In this car, not much is dirty, so you don't want dirt falling in there. Ooh, you know what? That is surprisingly kind of gross. Let me get some rags. Well, after cleaning the cap, that's just from the cap. It's surprisingly, surprisingly dirty. Um, car's got 12,000 miles on it. As far as I know, it hasn't hasn't been taken to a track. I mean, it's been, you know, driven uh, rather spiritedly, but <clears throat> no track time. So, well, I'm going to suck the fluid out of there. So you could probably find one of these in your kitchen. Uh, just don't tell the wife. I got this one at the store because I can't find my wife's, probably because she hides it from me. So... dark. Doesn't look too bad. It's not black anyway. Well, I'm gonna get something to store that in and I don't think it's really gonna work out. I'm probably going to have to get some hose on the end of that to put down inside that hole. So it's just a piece of, I think it's quarter inch ID tubing. better. Wow, well, look at all that fluid. I was hoping to, they have some brake fluid that's blue. Um, I can't remember the name, it doesn't matter now um, so much 
because apparently federal law uh, doesn't allow it to be DOT approved anymore. Um, I guess because it's blue, I guess that's it. <clears throat> so they don't make it blue anymore, it's the regular color. What would have been nice about that is it's a good indicator when you go to flush your brakes that you've got everything out of all the lines, which is what I wanted to do. I'm going to come over to this line and pull this line off and that is going to get capped. Okay, so I moved the clamp off there. I don't like putting tools on the car. This is a part that is usually kind of dangerous because what can happen is you can bust off the nipple off the reservoir and then you are screwed. I could just cut it off, but I might have to do that. Well, I had to cut it and I just scored it very gently until I finally got through it and could uh, could see the white plastic underneath. I didn't want to cut into the barb because that's actually where it's going to seal. Okay, so I just got the line pinched off with some vice grips. I've got that thing plugged for now. Um, I don't have the clamp on it yet. That clamp they provide is kind of kind of flimsy. I'm not going to I'm not going to keep it. But before I actually fill the brake reservoir back with fluid, um, I'm going to make sure that I I replace that. I might even replace that cap. It doesn't seem like it's a very reliable type of rubber. Um, so I'll let you guys know what I do there. So to keep dirt from getting in there, I'm going to go ahead and put the cap back on for now. So the hose here that my fingertips running on, the clamp all the way in the back, I was able to kind of grab it with some needle nose pliers there we go trying to work there we go got the clamp down oh, the clamp fared fine so got the clamp down off the line so now I should be able to I'm going to try to pull the line off by twisting it now that I have it off of the reservoir. Sorry for the light in the way. Let's see if I can get it off in one piece. Um, I need to get some more towel down there because I don't have enough because I know that's going to drip. Okay, well you can see the end of the nipple where the hose was. Um, it actually came off really easy. Much easier than the reservoir. Once the clamp was off, I just twisted it a little bit and started pulling and it came off. So that's the old hose. And I might have stressed that clamp. Yeah, that clamp is bent. That one's no good. That one I could still use maybe. I don't know if that'll fit on the end of that barb where the new reservoir is or not. I might try that. And no, that oil does not go in this car. There's the uh, clamp, and there's a little bit of curve to the hose, so I'm going to just have the curve kind of follow the hose, you know, the curve that's going to be going to the reservoir, just so I don't have any problems. So I got the clamp kind of pre-mounted on there. I can feel the barb. It's, it's well on there. So then I'll just move the clamp over. Oh yeah, that's all the way up against that bottom part. And this end of the hose, I'll get the clamp situated uh, back a little bit and then I'll just pop that onto the reservoir. Well, I went to a store and got some clamps. Um, I just don't like the clamps that came in the kit. They don't seem heavy enough. They're not gonna put enough clamping force for my liking. 
So I got a small worm gear clamp. Um, it's holding onto that nice and snug. And I'll just have to keep an eye on that cap to see how how well it does being exposed to the brake fluid. Um, it's in the kit, so I don't know. I guess it'll probably be okay, but in the meantime, I'm going to be looking for a more permanent solution. Okay, so I laid down some new towels, something that, because I did uh, get some brake fluid on the old towels. I laid down some new towels. Also have some, just some plastic wrap on the fender uh, because this is going to get a little messy. I'm going to take the turkey baster and I'm going to slowly fill up the hose with new fluid until it gets up to the top. And then I took this back off and I'm going to insert this into the hose um, and have this have some fluid in it as well to see if I can burp the little bit of air that's going to be left in the hose out before I mount this. Um, the whole point is to get out any air that might be trapped. You know, with the hose at this angle, the air should rise. And if I put it in slowly, it will allow air to purge as new fluid is going in. So I'm hoping that's going to be the case. But using a turkey baster isn't exactly a scientific piece of equipment. And so it's probably going to drip. Now it's just kind of dripping out. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that's full. I just laid that down on the ground. I'm going to take the cap off so the air can actually get out of the hose. I'm sorry, get out of the reservoir as I push the barb into the hose. I'm going to cover it a little bit because I don't want it splashing. And some actually got into the reservoir, which tells me there's no air there, so that's good. So now I'm just going to rotate it so the curve of the hose isn't fighting to level out the reservoir, which it's not. And take the remainder of that and put that in there for now. And I'm going to put the cap on it so it doesn't come out. Going to go ahead and put the clamp move the clamp over to over across the barb that hose is on that pretty tight that is a tight seal um, I don't think I'm gonna need the worm clamp for this one the provided clamp should work fine Yeah, that feels good. The other clamp on the other end is also the provided clamp, and that end felt pretty good too. So all that's left to do, you see the shoulder on that bolt? I don't know if you can see that, but it's right through there. And just putting it back on like I did before. I got enough fluid in there and when it's full to its maximum there is a line right here where my tip of my thumb is and you can barely see the fluid uh, crest over that curve to that line. That line was hard for me to see. Um, but anyway, when it reaches that line it will be over 
the plate with the hole in it so you know you're almost full. So this is a brake fluid I was using. And I got it at uh, Connects over here. Uh, this is the one that's open. And the cap is now on super tight. And uh, in this bag to keep moisture away from it. It'll only be like this for a few days until I get my um, power bleeder. So we're gonna be fine. There's no point in throwing away half a quart uh, for a day or so. Anyway, thank you everybody for uh, coming by, stopping and checking out my video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you.